So we have this login field. We need to bypass this login field to find the flag. This is the more SQL ICTF challenge of Pico CTF. Here I stands for injection. So it is very clear that we have to do a SQL injection here. But before we do that, let's log in with the username admin and the password admin and click on login. I can see we do not have any output. However, I can see the query. So it is selecting the column ID from the table users and it is checking the password and the username. And since we have an AND operator here, both of these need to be correct. There is this one more catch. The password field is before the username field. So we have to put our payload into this password field so that the query checks until here and everything after the password field becomes invalid. So let's try the most basic SQL injection, which is a single quote or one equal one and two dash for comment. I will show you at the end of the video what this means. But first, let's check if this works. Let me copy this. In my login field, give any username and for the password, paste the payload I just copied and click on login. And I can see we could successfully log in, but I cannot see the flag. Let's check the source code. So in the source code too, I did not find the flag. Let's log in again, but this time, Captured the request with our verb suite to see how the server responds to our request. So I will turn on my verb proxy, turn the intercept on, give any username, copy my SQL payload, paste it into the password field and click on login. And I can see we intercepted the request. Let's send this request to repeater. In the repeater tab, I can see this is our request. Let's send it. And here I get response from the server. I can see in the response we have the flag. Let me copy this, turn off my verb proxy and paste it and click on submit flag. And I can see we are correct. Now let's understand why our payload work. So we have a table called users. In this table, we have three columns. So if I log in with the wrong username and the wrong password again, I can see the query. Let's copy this query and paste it and end my statement with a semicolon. I can see we do not have any output. This is the equivalent of login field. It is because our password is incorrect. But if we selected the correct password, which is admin123 in this case, I can see the column ID is selected. This is equivalent to login successful. But the problem was we did not know the password. So we used this payload. So if I copy this payload again, remove the password and paste the payload. I can see with the first single quote, we are closing the password field and we are giving an OR operator here. When you use an OR operator, one of the statement needs to be true. So here there is nothing. So this statement will be false. But one equal one will always be true. So that's why this whole statement becomes true. And then we give two dash. Two dash in SQL means a comment. So anything after the comment is not counted as part of the code. If you used a different programming language like Python, you know when you use a hash, the hash is not counted as part of the code. It is the same thing here. When you use two dash, this whole statement becomes invalid. So our query becomes this. And if I search for this, I can see we get ID, which means login successful. So I hope you understand a little bit more how SQL injection works. So that is for the end of the video. We are going over the web exploitation CTF challenges of Pico CTF. If you want to follow along, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching.